Uh, my brother contacted me about that little free horse Yamaha that he found. And, you know, I told him, you know, tell the woman I'll give her $300 for it. And I didn't hear back from him for like over a week. And I was kind of in a crunch needing a motor for the little budget build. So one night at work, I was like, man, I got, I got to get a motor for this boat or I'm going to be really hung up on doing some videos and getting it done. I bit the bullet and actually had a six and a half horse four stroke hang on eBay. And it was an auction. I think they, most of them were like eight, I'm going to say eight. 50 840 something like that don't let me lie to you but there was one that was by now 850s price range but there was one on there as an auction and it was ending in 44 minutes for like 822 bucks so you know 20 30 dollars cheaper than the rest and i thought man that's kind of cool a four stroke uh don't have to fool around with the oil and it also came with a gas can. The gas can that I have just laying around that I was going to use for this boat is really too big for it. I was like, well, a gas can will, will come in handy. And it comes with a fuel line. So basically, you take it out of the box, put oil in it, and you got everything right there. So I ended up putting a bid in, you know, the, the starting bid or whatever. And I won it. And lo and behold, that same day is when my brother contacted me. Hey, man, I'm getting that motor this morning. So I ended up with two outboards. As of when I'm recording this video right now, I've yet to take the boat out. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna be before I actually post this video. I'd like to put this motor on the 10 foot budget build boat and see how it does, hopefully. Uh, it'd be a real cool comparison. A lot of people say Hankai's make less horsepower than what they actually say. You know, some people say half of horsepower. Uh, some people say they're junk motors. Now, what I have noticed is that's always secondhand information. I have never personally talked to anybody that has bought a Hankai motor that has had problems with it. Now, I will also say I haven't talked to anybody personally that have bought one that liked it either, but there are some videos on YouTube of people getting Hankai motors, and they all seem to really like them. So, uh, we're going to find out. I mean, I've been kind of wanting to buy one of these motors for a while, wasn't cheap. I said 820 bucks, but then you had to pay taxes, and I think it was a little bit of shipping on this. So all told, it was 906 dollars to get it to my door. Uh, you know that is not very cheap. I probably could have got a decent two-stroke used, you know, maybe a, a five or six horse Mercury or Johnson. Uh, most of them that I've seen listed are around eight to 1200 dollars. So. You know, who knows? You know, one could pop up tomorrow for a really good deal. But you're also getting a used motor and you don't know what kind of abuse that thing has went through. This is brand new, so you're. I'm, I'm hoping it does good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know, if, if this is junk, it's gonna be junk. Now, I'm gonna tell you. I haven't seen, I haven't looked, but I also haven't came across any reviews on these four-stroke hang ties. So, um, who knows? We'll see. It wasn't the weight on the four stroke wasn't much more than the weight on the two stroke six horse. So six and a half horse, four stroke hang kai. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do a little unboxing. And uh, they actually sent the company I bought it from sent me an email telling me, you know, what to do with the motor. I don't think they're shit with any kind of oil, gear oil, or motor oil. So we'll have to put those in. And it also uh, recommends a 10 hour break in time while not having, not running the motor wide open until you are past the break in time. Uh, that That is a lot of hours on a little motor. I'd like to see the top speed of it, but I also don't want to screw myself by not doing what they recommend. But uh, like I said, it'll be cool to have a comparison. That three horse Yamaha is probably going to be a dog on this boat. As of right now, I haven't taken it out yet. I'm expecting maybe five miles per hour out of it i haven't added a ton of weight to the boat but still you know a, a three horsepower motor is really a big loud trolling motor i mean really i don't care what you put it on so it's going to be cool to compare this six and a half horse to the three so everybody's saying you get half the horsepower of what they're rated at so that means if i take this thing out in the john boat and i got five miles per hour on the yamaha 
and I'm only getting five miles per hour on the Hankai, then maybe these guys are right. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, ho hopefully not. I'm hoping I get a lot more than five after spending $906. But anyways, uh, let's get to it. Let's see what's all in the box. All right, so I went ahead and cracked open the little drain for the gear oil, and it does have gear oil in it, so we don't have to worry with that. But it does say, I mean, clearly on the cow, no oil in unit. Please fill oil into engine crankcase before starting. I've got some Yamaha marine oil. I guess we'll use it and just add a little bit of time until I guess we get to one of those lines all right let's go ahead and do that actually came with its own funnel that's pretty nice ain't it? it actually might say somewhere in the instructions or care thing about how much oil it does take i'm not sure Y'all watch my channel long enough by now, you know I don't really like read directions or stuff. Alright, we're at the very top of the top line, so. Definitely don't need to add no more. Hopefully that's not too much. I think it's going to be fine. All right, so this thing came, it came with an extra little cotter pin for the prop. Rope. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. And then I kind of flipped through the manual and it kind of showed it something about like tying around the engine. I don't really understand that. But anyhow, uh, this looks like the gasket I'm not sure what this is. And another, uh, I don't know if this is like a head gasket or the gasket between the like the water pump. That looks too big to be that. It came with an impeller. I'm hoping that it has an impeller in there and this is just a spare. It came with a little tool bag. Inside the tool bag is some, these are less than Harbor Freight pliers, but whatever. It came with a couple wrenches. It came with a spark plug socket and a little cheap screwdriver that you can flip from flathead to Phillips. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm, I'm talking crap about it, but I mean, it all fits in, in this little bag. It's something good to have on the boat. It also came with an extra spark plug and, of course, the fuel line, the gas tank, and then a manual. And I, I heard a lot of people talk crap about this manual, but I mean, it seems like it's just got, got it just as much English in it as whatever, Chinese, so. All right, we added oil to it. I actually 
pulled it a few times, try to get some of that oil circulated in there, because it really on the dipstick it was showing a little bit high, so maybe by pulling it, spread it out a little bit, got it where it needed to be. Right, next thing we need to do is go ahead and, I guess, get some gas for this thing, and then hook it up. All right, we're gonna try a cold start, first start on this little hang tie. If you know me, you know I don't have a very good track record with outboards. So this could get interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna do what it says on the side of the motor, which is just basically prime the bulb, pull the choke out, and give it a whirl. Hopefully it fires up, I don't know. I'm not gonna hold my breath. So, <clears throat> We're in neutral. Okay, let's find it up. Choke out. Six times. So as you could tell, one thing, they got this sticker backwards. But another thing is how high it was revving up. And this idle speed was was pushed way, way, way too far in. So I unscrewed it some, and it seems to be fine now. Let's see if we can crank it up with me holding this. Yeah. See, that sounds a whole lot better.
I need to point out that this boat I'm using has a 14 inch transom and I added one and three quarter inches to it with this uh, piece of square tubing. So that gives you almost 16. But I want to show you that this isn't exactly a uh, short shaft motor, as you can see. You are a little over 17 inches. You're 17 and a quarter from where it mounts to right there where you want to be. So, I mean, if I raise it up a little bit more or put like one of them homemade uh, jack plates on it, could I get more mile per hour? Could I plane out better? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I might explore that with this boat. It depends. You know, I think I'm going to throw this on Marketplace and and see what it does. And in the meantime, I might uh, fool around with some stuff too. But I want to let you guys know, I'm not exactly sure why they call these a short shaft motor, but it is uh, a little over 17 inches, just so you know. And if you're putting on a small boat like this, you're going to have to build it up somehow. It's kind of it really it's kind of jack leg that it's like that it should be you know most short shaft motors are 15 inches this one is over two inches longer and i think long shaft motors are 20 i could be wrong which i mean every motor is different that little yamaha that i had on this boat is i think it's 17 or a little less right close to this one too so i mean like i said all motors are different so you know just want to let you know in case you are in the market for one of these, they aren't 15 inches. Don't believe the short shaft description on them. They are 17 and a quarter inches from there to that bottom plate. All right, so what did we learn from this video at least? I mean, I'm assuming that every one of these motors could be slightly different. Some are gonna be a little better than others, I'm assuming. But this motor cranked very, very easy out of the box you know it started up good it ran good all the gears did good and i don't know if you watched the video of the, the the final video the finished video of the little dakota the budget build boat i did this boat right here um i did the yamaha and it was three horse yamaha two stroke in 1992 and i got five miles per hour on it um, but, you know, com comparing apples to apples, I got 5 miles per hour out of that and 10 miles per hour out of this. So, as far as what I see, you know, the people that are saying they're half the horsepower, I mean, I got 5 out of that, 10 out of that, you got a 3 and a 6 and a half. I'm going to see it as I got twice the mile per hour, you know, for double the horsepower. So, I mean, in my opinion, I mean, it's pretty true as far as what I'm comparing it to. And not to mention, the Yamaha is a two-stroke, and this is a four-stroke. And a lot of people say that two-strokes just rev higher and will get you more top end. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, you know, don't put that on paper with me. That's just what I've heard. So, I mean, take that with a grain of salt. I'm pretty happy with the motor. Um, actually, both of the motors, I wished, like, I was kind of thinking five miles per hour of the Yamaha and you know double that on this but i was hoping one of them or both of them were going to kind of shock me and neither one of them really did i mean 900 and you know some odd dollars shipped to my house i'm, I'm not going to say it's a great deal if you're in a pinch you know maybe it didn't feel like it was too much horsepower for this boat this is a 10 foot i think 31 inch bottom boat and I mean, it didn't really want to plane out. Maybe raising it up to where it's level with the bottom of the boat, you know, could help some. It is what it is. I'm not blown away by the motor, and I'm not disappointed either. I feel like I kind of got what I was expecting, if that makes any sense. You know, 10 miles per hour in a 10-foot boat, it'll get you where you want to go. Uh, with If I had the choice between this motor and that three-horse Yamaha, I, won't, I would take this motor. Now, it's going to cost $600 more probably for this motor than that one. And I don't know, that uh, that 5 miles per hour starts to kind of look good, you know. But that's just me. And that's my opinion. It's a brand new motor, you know, out of the box. It did really good. Cranked better than the Yamaha out on the water. Like I said, all I can really say is my opinion of the, of the motor. And, you know, it, it was easy to mess with, easy to put together. 
I don't want to totally say I'm debunking all the people that saying these are crap motors because this, like I said, this could be just a good one compared to a bunch of bad ones. Maybe I got lucky. But in my experience of what I've had with this motor so far, it's, it's a good little motor. I mean, that's really all I can say about it. Uh, I hope this video helps somebody out there that, you know, if you're on the fence of getting it, you know, I wish I could say, yeah, go get it, or no, don't go get it. You just really want a brand new motor, and you don't want to spend seventeen dollars to $2,000 for a six or seven horsepower Yamaha, Mercury, whatever. Yeah, I mean, check out Hankai. If nothing else, I feel like it. this motor debunked the half a horsepower uh, myth. And also, I, I heard a lot of people saying that they couldn't get them started, and this thing started in three pulls so you know this is my take on it and you'll know, take it as that i'm not trying to influence anybody to get these motors it's just straight up my opinion on it uh, i feel like this is a pretty good motor for the price and you know if you can find a used yamaha six horse for the same price i would probably go with that you know just because it's probably easier to get parts and you know whatnot but you know if you can't like me like i was in a pinch i couldn't find a five or six horse anything for this boat and uh that's why i got this motor and you know so far i'm pleased with it i'll say that it's not just blow me blow me away but uh, it, it's a pretty decent little motor well, all right guys i appreciate y'all watching i'll see you on the next one